Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at a Swift Model 831 77 millimeter telescope uh, from uh, the early 1960s, uh, pre-1965 I believe. And it's got a lot of very wonderful and charming features uh, that I just really, really like. One of the key things about this telescope is that it's almost certainly genetically related to the first Takahashi. The Takahashi TS-65 came out in 1967. And this one is uh, very, very similar in many respects and quite different in some other ways. Uh, take a look and you'll see. One of the first things you'll note about this telescope is the charming sort of uh, coffee beige color. Beautiful, lovely to look at, and it's uh, unique. There are three Swifts that have this color, well, maybe more, but at least three Swifts in the family that have this color combination. This uh, beautiful kind of ivory tan color. Let me show you how it works on the mount here a little bit. This is an equatorial mount, nice, sturdy, robust equatorial mount. Check out this split clamp on the Swift Model 831. I don't know of any other telescopes that have this style of clamp. This just unscrews like that, and then this comes apart like that and like that. That's how the telescope comes out. Quite unique. It's nice because it doesn't have, have to have a hinge there. Of course, it has to have more hinge on the clamp itself. Let me show you the way this clamp on finder works. It's a little tricky. I've got a whole video about this structure up here. Let me show you how this clamp thing works. Now when that comes apart, it comes apart in several pieces. Like that. And we'll put it together. It's very simple if you're an octopus. You have to have several hands. It's actually not that bad. I'm making it dramatic. The nice thing is you can put the finder anywhere you want. On the tube. Or uh, oriented. Any direction you'd like. The focuser on this telescope is nice and big. This is almost exactly identical to the TS-65. And it's got a kind of a draw tube here. And it's even got increments here, marked in centimeters. Virtually identical to a Takahashi TS-65. In order to make this telescope fit in the box, they've got a uh, screw down dew shield like so. This may be one of the first screw on dew shields. This is uh, one of the earliest ones I've ever seen. This is the slow motion declination. The way this works, exactly the same as the right ascension. These things have a screw that goes in like so. Now, one of the downsides to this, of course, is, of course, if you're going to be changing this, which you would be on the RA, uh, if you're going to be changing that, there's a good probability you're going to lose that screw. Um, the first... I have a couple of TS-65s. The earliest one has an arrangement exactly like this. And later they changed that so it's more of a clamp-on kind of a deal. This 
in terms of the declination is similar but different from Takahashi. This is exposed here. Uh, Takahashi, it's a spring-loaded kind of an outfit. It's also quite a bit bigger on the Takahashi TS-65. That's how that works. Latitude adjustment on this scope is done with a couple of great big capstan bolts like so. There's one here and there's one back behind there that you can't see right now, but you get the idea. And it's strictly a friction arrangement. Let's compare the Swift 831 with a TS-65. This is the original TS-65 Takahashi. 1967 version. Very first one from Takahashi with the Takahashi brand on it. First of all, starting at the eyepiece, this focuser is just about identical. The finder is a completely different ball game than the Takahashi. This it's quite interesting, this kind of uh, clamshell, unique, I think, to this model of telescope. This, this is a very small compared to a Takahashi. This knob is just about identical. A Takahashi, except for the color. The two counterweights appear to be identical, even having exactly the same kind of knob. Note that everything on the Takahashi. Takahashi is a 65 millimeter telescope. It's quite a, a smaller aperture, 77 millimeters on the Swift, but quite a bit beefier. Everything here on the mount is considerably more robust. The legs, these legs are almost identical in construction to the Takahashi, but quite different in uh, terms of the size, strength. Everything on the Takahashi is much beefier, and yet it's only a 65 millimeter telescope. Interesting, isn't it? This is the packing scheme for the Swift Model 831. In order to fit in this box, the scope has the twist down do shield, like so. Otherwise, the box would have had to be about two inches longer. So there's the scope. Three legs. Tripod head. This is where the finder goes. It has its own special compartment. Clamps. This has a, a bolt here, you know, very exactly like a Takahashi. Do that, loose on the counterweight. Now, this will come out. So 
motion knobs, this knob, and eyepieces. There are the eyepieces. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this Swift Model 831 telescope from the 1960s. Thank you for watching.